Kwa kiongozi wa Mwai Pakalonzi Musyoka leo ameandikisha taarifa kwa idara ya upelelezi wa jinai huku sasa akimtaka naibu wa rais William Ruto kuchukuliwa hatua kwa matamshi yake yaliyomhusisha na unyakuzi wa ardhi eneo la Yata. Kalonzo aliyejiwasilisha kwa hiari kupitia mawakili wake ametaka hatua kuchukuliwa dhidi ya naibu wa rais Katete Njoroge anaarifu. Kalonzo aliwasili makao makuu ya upelelezi mwendo wa saa nne mchana akiandamana na viongozi, mawakili na mamia ya wafuasi wake. Kufika kwake hapa ikiwa ni kwa hiari ili kutoa taarifa kuhusiana na umiliki wa ardhi ya Yata ambayo anadai naibu rais William Ruto alitumia katika kumpiga vita vya kisiasa. Na baada ya kuandikisha taarifa na maafisa upelelezi kwa muda wa saa moja, Kalonzo alitoka na mawakili wake James Orengo na Mutula Kilonzo Junior. We have lodged a complaint in respect of a variety of, of offenses which have been co uh, committed by the deputy president. Our complaint are on four broad categories. One, incitement to violence. The second one is abuse of office. Malalamishi mengine yakiwa ni pamoja na kudai kuwa Ruto amefanya makosa ya kumharibia Kalonzo jina kwa kutumia taarifa zisizo kweli ambazo zinatishia kuzua chuki. We have gotten an assurance from the Director of Criminal Investigations because nobody is above the law that Mr. William Ruto will be required to come and record a statement to the formal charges which are now being prepared. Orengo akisisitiza kuwa hakuna yeyote aliye juu ya sheria na hatua lazima ichukuliwe. We are very uh, small people in society. We don't own choppers five or six to give to another person to campaign. We don't own 4000, 10000, 100000 acres in Taita Taveta. We don't own 5000 acres in Transmara. Wafuasi wa Ruto nao wakikosoa hatua ya Kalonzo kuelekea katika afisi za upelelezi, seneta wa Elgeo Marakwet Kiptumba Murkomen kupitia mtandao wa kijamii wa Twitter akitaja hatua hiyo kuwa isiyo na msingi wowote kisheria. Gatete Njoroge, Runinga ya Citizen.